In design, engineering, architecture, other places, we have three kinds of drawings. The first is a thumbnail. It's a very rough sketch. It's not the scale. You could put some dimensions on it if you wanted to, to let people know what you're thinking. It's about getting the idea from your brain out on the paper. Then we have an isometric drawing. It is on special paper. It is grid paper, but the grids are at a 30 degree angle. This is going to be detailed. This needs to be to scale and you have to use a straight edge. And then we have multi-view, which also is detailed to scale and uses a straight edge, just like the isometric does. But this grid paper is different. This is like our traditional normal 90 degree angle grid paper. And multi-view is that you put a top view and then below the top view, you put a front view, and then to the right of the front view, you put a side view. And these views should line up. So let's make a quick drawing. I'm just gonna do a box. I'm gonna tell people that I am going to make a box. Rough it out. So I'm gonna do that, and I can tell people, yeah, I'm gonna make this a six, and make this a three. And we're gonna make this 10, just so people could have an idea. I could tell, well, maybe I'm gonna put something, you know, on the face of it if I wanted to. It, it's getting the idea out of what I want to happen. So we're just putting things there, if we things that we wanted. But we're gonna ignore those. We're just gonna do a box. All right. So now we go to isometric for our rectangular prism, and we need a straight edge. I'm gonna use something very strange. You don't know. It's called a CD case. You need to follow the lines. It will help you make a 3D drawing. And you need to be to scale. Follow the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I happen to go six. So, so I guess I'm using one block as one kind of thing. All right. Which means this is gonna have to go back 10 from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna go up three, because we said we were three and we're going one is one. I mean you, you get you work your scale. One, two, three. Let's go up again over here on this corner. One, two, three, right? One, two, three. Let's go three here. One, two, three. And then we're connecting stuff. We want to do things in pencil for now, especially at the beginning, because we make mistakes and we just, it's okay to erase these things. Using a straight edge, make it look good as we can. Do, 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 do. We gotta come over here, we gotta go six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna close it. Now, some people wanna do the hidden lines, which is fine. And those hidden lines will be drawn dashed. And again, you wanna use that straight edge. So there's our isometric drawing. And you could put hidden lines on a rough sketch if you want to, but you don't have to. I mean, it's rough. It's getting an idea. Hey, I'm making a rectangular prism. So there's our isometric. Follow the lines. They get you your 3D view. Have a scale set for you. Now we need to make a multi-view. You got to decide what is top, what is front, what is side. I'm going to go with this being the top. And again, this was a 6 by 10. So I need to make a six by 10. Rectangle, rectangle here. Use my straight edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And now we're coming here. Six. So this was my top here. Here. We're going to call this the front. Because we kind of have this going this way being the top. We could have called this the top. And then this rectangle would have been turned. Doesn't matter what you how you call top. But you just got to pick it and then everything is oriented from there. So our front, which is going to be here, is now going to be 3 by 10. So we've got to leave a little bit of a gap. And then we're going to draw a 3 by 10. 2, 3. Again, they're lining up. Oops, too far. And this pencil doesn't erase. Yeah, that eraser doesn't erase. All right, three by 10. And then we need the side, which is actually this side here, because we want front, top, front, and then that side, which again, is going to be three. We're gonna leave a little bit of gap. See how it's lining up? And this will be three by six, correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Things line up. Edges line up. Edges line up. And when we get to it with our papers and drawings and books, we will actually cut out and paste the isometric drawing here. We will also be putting dimensions on here, just like we practiced dimensioning. We'll get to that later.